presented by EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour. Frank, amazing. They've been playing golf on these hallowed Lynx lands since the 15th century. And hopefully they'll play for many and more a year because every great player that's ever played this game has walked over Swalkin Bridge. Stepping up to the first tee at such an iconic venue, Frank, what is going through your mind here? Well, you'd think with such a wide fairway, it would be the easiest fairway to hit. But Swilkin, uh, there's an out-of-bounds down the right, and then the Swilkin burn runs all the way across from the right-hand side in front of the first green. So really, uh, you want to make sure you have a full shot into this first green. Great way to start a hole nicely placed in the fairway. Frank, many golfers unaccustomed to the full effects of the wind and, and playing without a caddy watch with great intent as their well-struck approach shot ends up. One, not only short of the hole, but two, short of the green, and three, short of the burn by some 10 yards. Yeah, you only need a puff of uh, breeze, really, because it comes over the mound that's behind that first green. And for some reason, that second shot always seems to play that sort of three or four yards longer, even for the best players in the game. Pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. It's a good looking putt right here. He might like it. Oh, he's gonna love it. How far was that? That was miles away. See if Hunter Mahan can make a birdie. Good putt, and now one under par. Trying to get the round off to a good start. Frank, we're at the second hole and what's ahead? Well, the ideal tee shot, just uh, a little over that gorse bush in front of you, which is down the right side. That's the best angle in, but it also brings in a little bit of trouble. But um, if that pin is anywhere towards the middle of this double green, then really you want to be coming in from the right side. Whoop, this has taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Frank made this hole just a little bit harder hitting it into the rough. I would say a lot harder. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Birdie attempt coming up for Ian. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special.
Needs a pair of binoculars to see the hole. That was not a very good read right there. Frank, he'll have to take a full swing at this putt for birdie. This is long, but every now and again, one of these finds the bottom of the cup and makes that magic sound. That's a nice lag putt. Frank, what would you focus on on a long putt? That three-foot circle. Um, obviously, you allow yourself a little bit more the further and further away you get, but um, just expectations lie them a little bit. There's certain distances, just take two. Solid par to remain one under. Clean this up with a tap. Did the job right there. Frank, talk about the strategy off the tee here at the third. You can drive the ball pretty close to this green, uh, Rich. It's shorter than the second hole. Uh, just hit it down the right side, but try and avoid those little pot bunkers. This is definitely not going down the fairway. It doesn't look good. I think it's going to be in the deep rough. We moved that one out there, but he is not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. Hunter Mahan, second shot. Oh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. That wasn't a guinea, but he sure made it look easy. Mahan is capable of lighting it up. This one is for birdie. Good score going. Now at two under par. At the fourth hole now, and Frank, this one looks as though it might require a little bit of club selection off the tee. What are we looking at, partner? Well, there is two ways to play the fourth off the tee. You can hit it down the right side, but it really starts to narrow up and it's slightly shorter. Most players go towards the middle of the golf course and try and get it on that plateau. But um, this, 
certainly the first hard hold you see at St Andrews. Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. This is not heading in the right direction. No, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. And it is not looking like a good lie. He'll need to be strong with this. did the prudent thing there, didn't he? Yeah, in the end, really, you could have turned that into a disaster instead. Actually, a good chance, really, to uh, perhaps get away with par. Not his best shot, and now he'll have to deal with a bunker. Yeah, they say the hardest shot in golf the next one. Third shot, looking for a good one. He'll take that one all day long. Very solid, about 15 feet away. All right, so green side bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? Well, really, you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know. It might just go in. It's no snack, though. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, it couldn't hit that much better. Getting set now over the putt. Two under on the deck. He's putting for bogey now. That takes him to one under on the deck. Chance here at the par five fifth, Frank, to make a little move early in the round. Yeah, it's certainly eagles galore. The fifth hole is uh, one of the biggest greens on the golf course, shared with the 13th. Uh, so good tee shot, and you have a nice big target, even though it's a blind second shot coming up. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Now the second shot to the par five. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Good lie in the fairway. A good chance to make something happen here. Frank, at a 72-hole stroke play event, do you like birdie fests where, say, 28, 30 under par might win it, or do you like a, a good old-fashioned grind them out where you might be able to win the championship at, say, 7, 8 under par? Yeah, I, I like the latter, really, um, because I think it, it tests the mental fortitude. Normally, if people are you know, in the mid-20s under, the golf course is a little easier, it's, it's a little more forgiving, greens are flatter and all that. And, and therefore, I'm not saying it's one-dimensional, but it's closer to that. Uh, when you have a good old barn ball out there with the rough thick and 
bunkers are, are difficult and greens are fast and undulating. It, every part of your game is stressed to the limit. And, you know, sort of 10 under, I always think, is, is like a really good litmus test for, uh, for a great tournament. Pretty good stroke right there, just to hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Settles in over the putt. That was well judged, wasn't it? Birdie chance now for Hunter Mayhem. This for par. Holding steady now at two under par. Now to the 374-yard, par 4-6th, another scoring opportunity. Yeah, just be very careful of the wind conditions here because that'll affect the strategy off the tee, but bunkers left and right to be avoided. Wow, way to the right here. And there's rough over there. That's a bit offline in the rough. Excellent drive, Frank, right where you want to be. This requires a lot of speed through the ball. Good recovery shot. Couldn't make the green, but at least he's back in play. Played the smart shot right there. The second shot now to the par four. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. That's well played. Now a good look at birdie. Ian Poulter chance to be aggressive with this approach. Now a putt from 24 feet away. So frustrating sometimes on the greens, isn't it? Drop shot here at the sixth. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Goodness, Frank, that is painful. Oh, yeah, that's the... You'd rather miss the hole at times, wouldn't you? Just a little tap in here. Now at one under for the round. Has his par. Over the ball here at the seventh, and Frank, if you had to script a game plan here, what would it look like? Um, you could drive this pretty close to the green. Uh, this is a, a green that's shared with the 11th, the par three. 
and um, it's a, you won't see that tee shot finish, but um, you can actually drive very, very close to a bunker called the shell, which is the one that protects the par 3 11th. How tough is this going to be now from the rough, Frank? Oh, it's tough to say, Rich. I mean, so much is going to depend on that lie. I'm going to need a little bit of luck. Got the uh, measurement out there, Rich. Looks like 290 yards. Frank, this ball's in the rough. Anything you change in your technique when a ball's sitting down a little bit? Um, yeah, you put the ball back a little bit further in your stance because you're going to get a bit of grass between the ball and the club face. So you have to allow for that and keep that club moving. Um, <laughs> That grass is going to be is that that grass is going to create a, a certain amount of resistance. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Ian Poulter has this for birdie. Wow, he got robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the reed. Takes it to three under for the day. Steady, solid, and at one under par right now. Now to the par 3-8. Frank, what's the best way to go at it? Well, for these players, straight at the flag. This is the first par 3 you'll see, and a good chance to make two coming up ahead. But we do see a lot of long putts here with an errant tee shot. attempt coming up for Ian. Frank, no reason here to think we're going to see anything other than another good shot. Yeah, in a great flow and uh, golf like this looks easy. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. That was not a very good read right there. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Frank, this game will drive you crazy. Yeah, you can do all so many things right, and then just something so simple, completely wrong. Now at minus two for the day. So just a formality here. Did the job right there.
Frank, the old course all about avoiding the pot bunkers. They're so nasty. This is a good example here, the ninth hole. Yeah, the pot bunkers really do be avoided are the ones in the middle of the fairway, but there are some that sneak in on the left side, plus that gorse on the left. Um, if you can carry that last one, which is called the end hole, then there's a chance to perhaps drive the screen. Not quite what he was hoping for, the tee shot in the bunker. This is not hitting in the right direction. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. In the thick stuff. Thick? That's brutal out there. Second shot coming out of the rough here. That should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. Frank, not close, but from that line, not bad. Oh, that's excellent. Seriously, given the conditions, Rich. All right, Frank, second shot. Yeah, it looks like a good lie. Um, just take maybe half a club more than the distance uh, distance allows. Still got to check the wind. Don't have to fly the ball all the way to the flag from here. Really? This is an awkward length. Just when you think you're going to make birdie, now, I have to really concentrate on this and at least make par. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Now two to the good side. For the par. Two under par for the round. Excellent front side, trying to keep it going here on the second nine. He's just playing beautifully, hitting so many good shots, giving himself so many opportunities. Can he keep it going? Frank, this one's going too far left, it looks like. Yeah, it was fine there for a little while, but if it keeps going left, it's doomed. You have to think he'll be happy with that, given that it looked like it was headed right for the rough. Yeah, it looked like that was the only place it was going to finish, but, um, well, <clears throat> it's a little bit unexplainable. Let's see what he does from here now. Lucky break. Well, you can see a little bit off balance on the tee, and that one is going to be in the rough. And it looks like it's in the rough there, Frank. Well, it might not be as bad as it looks. And setting up here in the rough. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. And now we'll have this for Birdie. Ian Poulter going for the green on his second shot. Pretty chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. You've got to be kidding me. That was right on the edge. I tell you, he wants to do over there. See if Hunter Mahan can make a birdie. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. So, they'll tap in. Nice par to remain at two under.
He'll take par and move on. Frank, what are we looking at here at the famed par 3 11th at the old course? Well, the most difficult, there is only two par 3s here at the old course, and this one's called high elevated green, and you've got to fly that bunker that protects the front of the green. That's called the Strath Bunker. Uh, you really take anything on this green. You make a two hit, you'll make a move on the field. This won't hurt him. So a chance for Birdie after another solid approach shot. Enough on that one. Yeah, it just seemed to baby it. And getting ready for the putt. How does that not go in? Amazing. Stroke looked good. Uh, line looked good. Just did not take that final break. We'll make birdie if he holds this putt. Came to the putt excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. You've let one go. You've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. And now at one under for the round. This is the strength of his game, putting. Ian Poulter set to go. Has it, and he's two under par. Frank, from this vantage point here at the 12th, you can see why the old course, St. Andrews, are so iconic in the sport. Yeah, this is a, a fun hole as we start to sort of head back to the village of St. Andrews. Hole's called Heathery. There's a big crop of heather on the left, and the, there's four little pot bunkers that are in the middle of this fairway, so you've really got to be cognizant of those. But good time to take the head cover off if you're a long hitter, and then you've only got to worry about that one pot bunker just short of the green. This is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Oh, look out, Frank. Where's this one headed? Uh, this is definitely rough, Rich, off the tee. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. How good was that, Frank, from the rough? Oh, that's amazing. That's a master class in short game. Set to go, not an easy shot by any means. Shouldn't be a problem here. And with that putt, he moves to three under. Birdie chance now for Hunter Mayhem. It is in the hole for a birdie. Moving on now to the par 4 13th. Frank, what's the strategy here? Once again, to avoid those pot bunkers, the first one is called Nicks, and then the other two up ahead, once again, they're called the Coffins. Somehow you've got to go right or left of those or beyond those. Um, if you can go in the exact right position, which is slightly left center, you will actually have a full view of this green. The left or right of that, then it's a blind second shot. 
Oh, that was sweet. Straight down the middle. So where the hole is cut, just about 190 yards, Frank. Birdie attempt coming up for Ian. Let's see what Hunter Mahan can do with this approach. Just want to nestle this one down to within a couple of feet. Well, that was a good looking putt, just not falling right now. You know, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Most fell just a few inches from dropping. Sometimes the game just isn't fair. Par attempt here. Two under on the day. So just a formality here. Did the job right there. Frank, what are we looking at here at the big par 514? Out of bounds on the right, and those little series of pop bunkers called the beardies. Now, if you get in trouble here, you can bail out with your second shot down the left, which is the fourth fairway. That's uh, one other option of playing this par five. But a good tee shot, and you can certainly go at this for two. Second shot. Common thread here. Rough, rough, rough. Wrong way again. Frank, it's a hard game to play from the high grass. But, and that's where he's been more often than not today. Playing his second shot here at the par five. That's an absolute beauty. He'll need to be strong with this. Should be safely on deck. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. 
Now the third shot for Hunter Mayhem. There's a birdie try now for Hunter Mayhem. Oh, I thought he had that. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but it is going to hurt the cause. You have to like that. Four under. Just a little tap in here. Nice par to remain at two under. Time to tee it up here at the 15th as we begin the closing stretch here at the Open Championship of the old course at St. Andrews. There's a big steeple in the distance, so even when it starts to fog in a bit, if you can keep your eye on that, that's a good line off the tee. And you've got to keep it, uh, your tee shot just short of this sort of heather, big crop of heather down the left side. It still leaves you a lengthy second shot. But really, that's the safest way to try and play this par 4 15th. Very good par 4. steps up to take this shot from the fairway. Frank, you know Ian Poulter, when he's playing well, he sort of struts like a peacock. He's entitled because he's put a lot of birdies on the board, hasn't he? Well, he's so dangerous, Rich. We've seen it today. Anywhere on the green is makeable. And that's the thing. He doesn't have to hit it at every flat. But believe me, when he gets on that green, he thinks he's going to make every putt. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Beautifully done. That's a birdie. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. All right, Frank, another par four. It's the 16th. Players trying to make their way to the house. Standing up in one piece. What's the best way to get at this hole? Well, the normal player would actually try and hit the ball down the left. I've seen the odd player try and hit it down that out-of-bounds line and sort of flash it down the right side, but really there's not much of an advantage, Rich, unless you're the longest hitter in the business. So a little short and a little left of the principal's nose is a nice setup for the second shot here at 16. Great strike and a great result. Sitting up, good chance to attack the flag. Second shot, good look at the green. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really... 
It's a, a rather poor approach shot. Ian Poulter going for the green on his second shot. This is a good looking shot. Long putt here. This will require a good touch. That's a nice lag putt. Frank, what would you focus on on a long putt? That three-foot circle, um, obviously you allow yourself a little bit more the further and further away you get, but um, just expectations lie them a little bit. There's certain distances, just take two. Continues to putt beautifully. Clean this up with a tap. Keeps the momentum going with that putt. Stays at three under. Now at the 17th tee, and Frank, this is really when you begin to feel the weight and the history of the old course bearing down on you. And you also feel the nerves as well, because you're having to hit it not just at a fairway or over a bush, but over the corner of an out of bounds. And uh, you'll see it, there's a little sign up there that says Old Course and Country Club. So you've got to pick the exact letter for the line that you want to hit it across. Hit it down the right side, this hole certainly becomes shorter. Left, you find the left and short, you find the road, the road hole bunker. Uh, a little right and long, and well, there's a chance of going out of bounds or on the road itself. We need a break right here. That one is headed OB. Look out. How about that? The ball stayed inbounds after all, Frank. Yeah, that was a real head, sc head scratcher. A couple more yards and, uh, well, would have paid a severe penalty. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. <laughs> On the green and looking at a birdie opportunity. Good 190 yard shot, and this is the second. Frank, this is a cross country putt. He'll have a go at it though for birdie, we'll see. There's no backing down here. This is gonna go up and down and all over the place, but a chance to go in. Could it be? Well, that just brings a smile to your face, puts a little pep in the step when you make them from downtown. Needs a pair of binoculars to see the hole. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. That's good work. That's a good par right there. Frank, is there a more famous landmark in the sport than the tiny Swoken Bridge? I, I think when you think of this game, um, the way in which we've followed it and, uh, and covered it, Rich, over the over the last decade plus, no. Um, it, it, it is just symbolic, not just with this golf course, but the game of golf itself, because every great champion has uh, managed to make his foray across to Scotland and play the old course and walk across that bridge. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole.
This one will play a little bit longer. It's up the hill to that green. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Birdie attempt coming up for Ian. Hunter Mahan, second shot. Mahan is capable of lighting it up. This one is for birdie. Just has the feel to that. Shouldn't be a problem here. Moves to minus eight. Frank, solid effort today. What's your assessment? Um, golf like that can certainly uh, result in wins, that's for sure. But um, more importantly, the opportunity to get one. 